Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Corpse Party Sweet Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday Bash for the PC. In the last episode, after suffering a wrong end via a crazed Emmy who was not too keen on the idea of losing the cooking competition when she suffered uh, one loss, as it were, towards the end, following her in order to get an idea of what she was cooking, and then I find out I'm the ingredients for her next dish, and, well, I ended up getting killed for it. I made a different decision at the very end by teaching, and I won by teaching Sachiko how to make her own omelets. And as for my wish, well, she kind of played it, she kind of, uh, played it a little sneaky like I did with, uh, tr get with, uh, trying to win by teaching her how to make her own food, basically. So... My wish was essentially wasted, more or less. Oh, and uh, Kizumi ran off after uh, I chased him away from his tent. So, there was also that, too. And that's pretty much the gist of it. At least everybody got to enjoy some good omelets. At least apparently they're good. So, now we got this new chapter we gotta go through now. And we're almost at the very end, too. So, Penitent Normies Explode. Let's jump right into it. Big Ben never sounded so sinister to me. Are you, like, for real right now? What? What's she being real about? Hehehehe! <laughs> <Maji>. <laughs> Completely! Uh, uh, <sighs> I must have been hearing things then, I guess. Can you say that again? Sachiko, I want to be a Hollywood celebrity. I want to be a Hollywood celebrity. No, you do not. You do not. It that I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say why exactly because I could probably I'm probably gonna end, I'd probably be me opening up a big can of worms for some people, but well, just just take my word on it. No, you don't, Sachiko. Nope, didn't miss here. But yeah, that's never gonna happen. You should give up right now. <laughs> Kishinuma, you jerk! Jerk, jerk, jerk! You wanna get killed? Trust me, it's for your own good. You probably you'd probably be better off actually getting a voice acting job, but what the fuck do I know? I see. So you're looking to pursue a career as a beautiful actress, then. Someone who'll get married and divorced so regularly, it'll be as natural as eating toast. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> That's certainly... Well, I kind of want to point out that you can do that even without being a Hollywood star, if you're just that kind of person, you know, but, well, that's also, I suppose, another possible can of worms that I should probably avoid opening. At least while I'm on YouTube, anyway. Eh, fuck it. Why should I, why should I freaking censor myself, honestly? If YouTube want me, wants me gone, they'll find, they'll find any fucking reason to, uh, they'll find any reason they want me to, they want to in order to get rid of me. And if they're vague terms of service, it could be literally anything. They, they don't even have to give me an explanation, so... Yeah. Whatever, I'll just... What, whatever comes out of my mouth, I'll stick to it. Now, now, that's a rather prejudiced view of celebrities. It does happen quite a lot, though. Uh, mm, Hmm? 
I understand dreaming big, but what brought on what brought this on exactly? Really though, why Hollywood of all places? I picked this up not too long ago. Is that just a film magazine? May I see it, see it for a moment? なるほど。人気女優の私生活をスキャンダラスに書き立てているな。天神小学校に閉じ込められた誰かが落としたのか。I see now. It's full of personal accounts from popular actresses, written as scandalously as can be. One of the victims here must have dropped it. That's the entertainment industry for you. Filled with shit tons of egos and scandals. Hey, you're here. Uh, I'm forgetting your name right now. Sachiko really lets things like that influence her, doesn't she? Well, clearly. Otherwise, she wouldn't be asking to be a Hollywood star. I suppose, in the end, she is still just a child. Sukasa, that's your name. Thank you for putting your name over there for me. <laughs> I love this sort of thing. I love how they're all rich and famous on the outside, but on the inside, they're all messed up and goopy. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, that's pretty much like people too, ordinary people too in a nutshell, or at least some, at least a good chunk of ordinary people. The only difference between them and, the only difference between celebrities and normal people in that regard is just that, well, celebrities have the spotlight on them. Not that's literally the only difference, if you really want, if you really think about it. Aha, uh -huh. so purely a childish take then. So I see you're here too, Keezy. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. So, what do you want us to do about this exactly? Making you rich and famous isn't exactly something we can make happen just because it's your birthday. That would be true if it literally anybody else, but you forget this is Sachiko you're dealing with. So you better make it freaking happen, or bad things are gonna happen to you. E -i -ga. Movie. Huh? Huh? Dakara, e -i -ga da yo. Minna de e -ga o toru no? Moo V Make a movie. I wanna make a movie with everybody. Well, if it's any consolation, we here in the real world have apparently made a live action movie of uh, Corpse Party. I have yet to see it myself, but from what a few uh, subscribers of mine have told me, it's not very good. I'll probably watch it some, anyway at some at some point though if the moods if I feel the urge if I if the urge to do so is strong enough with me at a particular point. The only question is how the hell I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna if I'm gonna try to buy a copy of the movie like I did with the OVA series or find it online somewhere. It's a bridge I'll have to cross when I when I get to it. But why? Make a movie, it becomes a big hit, and I become a Hollywood celebrity. That's how it works. Well, you have to make sure the movie's actually good in the eyes of the general public. That's because, I mean, the thing, the funny thing about uh, making hit movies is even if they're popular with critics, your movie is still going to be ultimately a failure if not a whole lot of regular people go to see it, you know? You got you got to get the approval and the attention of the audience. That's who you need to focus on the most with well, 
any entertainment product you make, really. Wow, that's a perfect life plan. No, it's not. In a fancy world, maybe. So well, well, to be fair, Yoshiki, considering we considering that you're all inside Heavenly Host of all places and what Sachiko can do with it, you may as well all be in a fantasy world, if we all if we're all being perfectly honest with ourselves. It's all well and good to say you want to make a movie, but it's not that simple. Without a director or a cameraman, how do you even hope to start? Well, I already know who the cameraman's going to be. Now we just got to make sure that he's actually focusing the camera on things he's supposed to be focusing it on. And that right, you poor unfortunate soul. Are we just are we just to pretend we're featured in your movie? It's not a problem. I brought in a special guest for that just that very reason. Guest? A special guest? Oh, Taguchi! The ground then started to rumble, shaking the very foundation of the school building. Everything. And that movement was accompanied by the thunderous roar, which pounded in the eardrums of everyone present, as if emanating from hell itself. Wah! Oh, chill out, Ayumi. Hey, You've been through plenty of earthquakes by now. You, you too. Just get under a get under a desk. Satsuki, eep. Or beneath Yuka and Satsuki's feet began to come apart. Watch out! Kizumi had been standing near the two and leapt into action quickly and decisively, pushing him to safely, safely just in the nick of time. Well, that was nice of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Phew! Get the bejesus out of me. Nice going, Kizumi. You best be careful. The floors here aren't sturdy to begin with. The rumbling slowly began dying down, eventually coming to a stop altogether. For a brief moment, there was only stunned silence in the room. It's finally over. Are you two able to stand? No! I'm as scared! Don't let go of me! Um, I'm fine now. I don't know why, but even though this man saved me, I'm getting a bad feeling about him. You should listen to that feeling. In fact, you should listen to that feeling so fucking hard that it helps jolt your memory. And as soon as you get your, and as soon as you get your memory jolted, you might want to inform Satsuki in as quietly and discreetly a manner as possible. What it is you end up recalling. Because it could save you both your lives. Maybe. I'm relieved that neither of you suffered any injuries. But you never know when a quake of that sort may strike again. So always watch your footing. Okay. And, um, really, thank you very much. I guess maybe he is a good person after all. Yeah, 
And the dinosaurs weren't just in and the dinosaurs didn't suffer a mass extinction event via a meteor. <laughs> Yuka. Yeah, I guess that's a bad example. Okay, that's a bad example. Well, at least not an appropriate one. <laughs> Yuka, do you not remember? Don't you remember all the fun we had when I was chasing you hither and yon? How sad. Yuka, do you see his hot, steamy breath coming coming betwixt his lips? You might want to take that as a really strong cue to stay clear from him. <laughs> but that's just fine. Your big brother will protect you. So do try to remember in the meantime. Slowly, slowly let it dawn upon you. <laughs> it might cause you problems later on, you know. Once she remembers and she lets everybody know how dangerous you are. Phew, that was a big one. Shishido, are you okay? Yeah, thank you, Tsukasa. <laughs><笑><笑> It still feels really strange for you to be a full-fledged adult. And teacher, no less. It's the same for me. You really are. Exactly as you were back in high school, Tsukasa. Are we really ever going to get an answer why you're still the same age as you are now? I mean, back then. So, does that mean I should start calling you Miss Yui, like all the other Kisaragi students do then? Really now, Tsukasa, stop that! <laughs> Don't hit me! Teachers aren't allowed to use violence against students. He's gonna milk this for all it's worth, isn't he? To be fair, I probably would too. Miss Yubi is still off flirting with Tsukasa, it looks like. Yow. Be nice if she put herself in the shoes of those of us who have to watch this crap unfold. Eh, let them be, let them be, be, let them be cute. You can always just, you know, turn away, plug your ears, sing, like us normal humans do. <laughs> Would you stop trying to sound intimidating in both my ears, please? <laughs> what was that? I swear I just heard a... Growl of some sort. Wasn't it just Yuke's belly rumbling? <laughs> I wish. That wasn't my belly. You're so mean, Satsuki. It wasn't the sound of a stomach, but rather a living being, a person. All right, who's our special guest? Is it Taguchi? At that exact moment, a crackling, tearing sound rang out. For all the world, it sounded like the floor was being torn wide open. Who the hell are you? An older gentleman slowly climbed up from beneath the floorboards. He was carrying a small camcorder in his hand. 
You're a Hollywood. You're a Hollywood director, aren't you? If that's the case, then how the fuck did a Hollywood director end up in Heavenly Hosts of all places? Or are you telling me that this particular gentleman, whoever the fuck he is, just has a, a thing for reading, uh, for reading uh, mysterious charms on Japanese on Japanese blog sites, like Naho's blog or something? Because that's a very interesting interest. His eyes were glossy and distant, and his physical form was exactly like that of a zombie. <laughs> Climbed up from below? What the hell is he? Don't come any closer. <laughs> Monster, I will cut you down! Kizumi withdrew his hunting knife and slashed at the old man. <laughs> to be fair, he hasn't really done anything yet. So that's kind of cool. Eek! <laughs> I'm scared. Well, Sasuke looks like she's having a jolly old time watching Kizumi cut shit up. Get him! Get him! Kizumi, you're on fire! Woo! Hold it! You're all being very rude to the good director. Director? This zombie? This zombie? Uh huh. His name is Lucio Fulson, and he's a real, honest to goodness film director. Though, as you can see, I kind of pulled him out of retirement. I feel like your name is supposed to be a play on somebody, but I'm not sure what it is. Retirement may not be a strong enough word here. Film director Lucio Fulson? Huh. Huh? Something? Huh? What's up, Morishigi? Is it really him? The Lucio Fulson? <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way into, he into hell looking for him. It wasn't easy tracking him down. Well, if he's in hell, then he probably wasn't a really good person in life. <laughs> if I had to wager a guess as to why he wound up in hell, well, considering his profession, I bet he was a really nasty Hollywood director. Kinda like Stanley Kubrick in a way. Wow! I'm speechless! I never thought I'd be able to meet director Fulson, uh, Fulson in person! Huh? What's going on? You know this geezer? Have you never seen his masterpiece, Zombie Zombie 2? Is that supposed to be a play on zombie or something else? Yep, definitely a zombie. The final scene, where countless zombies march across a bridge in penitence, is one of the most iconic scenes in horror, in horror film history. <laughs> I haven't seen it. It's kind of awkward how you make it sound like I've been living under a rock or something. Well, were you? Morishigi, I had no idea you were into those kinds of movies. I'm not surprised, considering how uh, Heavenly Host seems to bring out a really disgusting love for corpses like nauseating at times oh, oh, oh. 
I see you have the intellectual, you have the uh, verbal verbosity of uh, Hammer Time. I'd, I'd be willing to bet money that those two are going to have a conversation like this towards each other, and, well, nobody's going to really know what the fuck they're saying. Except Sachiko, probably. It's quite the ironic twist of fate that a man who brought so many zombie flicks into the world should now himself be a zombie. No kidding. <laughs> yes, it's an honor just to meet you, sir. But to work with you would be like a dream come true. I am but your humble protege, but I will help out in any way I am that I am able. I think he approves. You understand? You understand what he's saying? You got like some kind of mi miniature, uh, miniaturized uh, translator in your ear or something? Because I'd like one. What? Me? Assistant director? Thank you so very much. I'll give you my everything. Whatever I can do to be of assistance, I will do with aplomb. Wow. Wow. Does that guy regularly converse with zombies or something? How far removed from humanity do you have to be to wind up like him? Okay, so it's... Not just me, then. Hmm? This wasn't part of my plan at all. But I guess they are like two peas in a pod, so I see no harm in letting them work together. Uh, so Morishigi? Hate to say it, but that geezer totally reeks. You really gonna be okay with being that close to him? Yoshiki was holding his nose, as if to illustrate his point. Oi, Kishinuma! Shisune na kotto! Yunja! <laughs> you poor bastard. <laughs> Kishinuma, that's extremely rude. You should show more respect for the for this visionary chin. You can pretend it doesn't bother you all you want, man. I don't care. <laughs> Your students are a little strange, Shido, but they're also quite fun. Must be because, unlike you, Sukasa, they're obedient and well behaved. What? That doesn't even fit me, Shido. Since when have I ever been a rebel? <laughs> Just getting gifts getting you back for before. A romantic comedy between a female teacher and a male student has such an immoral air about it. Do you approve? Yes, yes. But you mustn't interfere. Let them work it out. Hey, Morishigi? You doing okay? You need me to rub your back or something? Or anything? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I think I've gotten used to the smell now. You sure? 
俺は映画にはあまり詳しくないんだがそんなハンディカメラ1台で撮影は可能なのか I have a question I am by no means an expert on filmmaking but I was wondering if that single camcorder will be enough to shoot an entire movie No, probably not So I guess Taguchi's probably gonna be brought in after all が最近はあえてハンディカメラで撮影する手法の映画も多いしなそれに見たところ監督が持っているのはプロユースのいい品だ I believe so Quite a few movies have been shot entirely on camcorder of late And from what I can tell The one Mr. Fulson has is a pro model へえどうでもいいけどゾンビがカメラ持ってる姿ってすげえシュールだな Man I I mean, I really don't, I, I don't really care about any of that, but I'm sure it, it, but it sure is surreal to see a zombie with a video camera. ちなみにそのカメラは、タグチから借りたものなの。映画に使うって言ったら、涙を流して喜んでたわ。I actually borrowed that camera from Taguchi. Okay, so I guess that explains where the camera came from. When he heard I was going to use it to make a movie, he wept tears of joy. それは借りたんじゃなくて、奪ったの間違いじゃないのか Are you certain borrowed is the right word? Are you certain you don't mean took? Come on, I got to work in his night. Yeah, so so look at me, don't sit away, yo. Don't sweat the details. Now come on, let's get over to the location where we're shooting. Oi, took him away. Don't I go to the Noga, Mada Kitanize. Well, wait a minute. You still haven't told us what kind of movie we're filming yet. So none of him at the show. Well, that should be obvious. Right, Morishigi? Zombie movie? Or movie of some kind? Of course, it's a movie of some kind. Of course, it's a movie of some kind. Of course, it's a movie of some kind. It can only be Fulson's trademark, the Splat. Exactly! It's going to be a school love story. Well, this is definitely going to be outside the good director's element, I'm sure, but maybe he can make it work. So, uh, let me look over the ending list for this chapter again. So, five total. So, there are four wrong ends I have to worry about. So, at least four different decisions I got to、uh, make sure I choose correctly if I want to get to this to a true end. But knowing my luck, I'm probably going to find at least one or two wrong ends along the way before I get to the very end. Amazing! It's actually our school! If we made a run for it, do you think we could escape? I'm not even going to bother pointing out the futility of this at this point. That's my Kishinuma. Always with dumb and thoroughly thought through ideas. No, that's more Ayumi's territory. I don't know if you're a person who's 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 a person じょ、冗談だってえ、ただ言ってみただけだよ !I was joking, damn it!Can't you take a joke? しかし、まさかキサラギ学園がロケ地とはな。Still, using キサラギ as a set piece for a movie。リアリティを重視したいからね。Realism is very important。それで、これからどうするんだ ?So, what's the next step here? Ah! Huh? Got it. Kigae desko. Hmm? Get changed? Itta de sho, reality ga juyo da te. Like I said, realism is very important, but they're all rain school uniforms. Ah, Kishinuma to Ayumi, Tsukasa to Morishige mo kigae ru hitsuyo wa nai kara. Saki ni kyoshitsu de matte te ne. Oh, but Kishinuma and Ayumi? And also, Tsukasa and Morishigi, you don't need to get changed. So you can just go wait in the classroom for now. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go. 
I don't have any idea what's going on, but whatever, sure. You should probably be worried, though. Yoshiki et al. walked out into the hallway and were quickly swallowed up by the darkness as they proceeded to Sachiko's makeshift green room. So, uh, what are we changing into exactly? Is it gonna be a cosplay, Nya? <laughs> it's gonna be this! Sachiko laid out a set of clothes for everyone that truly stood to put, sm put some twinkles in some eyes. Huh? Is this... My, my. So it's come to this. What are the outfits? Sure is taking him a long time. I hope... Shishido is okay. <laughs> Are you worried about her? A little. She tends to space out, and when she does, she starts doing completely reckless things without even knowing it. Ah, Yeah. Yeah, definitely sounds like Miss Yui. Still, it really is romantic being reunited across time and space with a past lover from her school days. Star-crossed lovers. Lover? Me and and she and Shishido? Eh? Huh? Miss Yu always told us you were her first love. I'm certain she still thinks of you that way even now, too. Don't you feel the same? Whoa, wait a minute. I, uh, that's, it's like, um, yeah. <laughs> She's even, even Sachiko is dressed up. Sorry to keep you waiting. And stray we've been waiting. Uh, what's with the get-ups, guy, you guys? What do you think? Don't they look good? Aren't you turned on? You do not want to turn anybody on, Sachiko. Good God. Absolutely not! What are you even saying? They're all in high school uniforms. Ugh. This is embarrassing. It's cool, Yukes. It looks great on you. I'm certainly turned on. Hello, you even have a different jacket, Kizumi. Satsuki, I don't think that's quite what she needed to hear right now. Hmm. Tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I prefer his uh, regular co co coat or this one. Maybe I prefer the maybe I prefer the one he's got right now because it matches his pants. Huh? But I mean, you're turned on too, Kizumi, aren't you? Very good question, actually. Are you? Well, I must admit, it does suit both of you. You're both quite lovely, in fact. Yeah. How many more? How many uh, more hints do you need before you realize that uh, you probably should steer clear of him, Yuka? Whoa! Not only did that not bother you, 
but you, like, countered it with a nice pickup line? You may be a high schooler, but you're all grown up in my eyes. Kizumi <laughs> 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 is a lot of things, but grown up is not exactly one of them. If he really wants to look at his character deep enough. Get changed, I guess, meant gain change into our school uniform. Dear God, Ran! Holy shit! Control your libido! Oh! Oh, dear wife! Let me lick- let me lick you all over like a lollipop! Oh, God, here we go again. Me having to- yeah, me having to, uh, yell out of stupid shit. Hey, you've been like this for far too long now. Calm yourself, please. Wow, Azu Azuzu and Ran, that uniform suits you both so well. You look super cute. So? Thank you. You think so? <laughs> Thank you. In this outfit, I almost feel as if I'm actually a classmate of yours. Well then, Ayumi, I guess that means you can join me in licking her all over. Deploy tongues! I'm surprised you're even willing to share at this point with anybody. Pardon? What sort of blasphemy are you suggesting so nonchalantly? <laughs> I'm a teacher. And I'm 23. You think that would get me out of having to wear this? Or you. Shishido, you. Um, please, um, don't stare at me too much, okay? You make me blush myself to death. It's alright. It's totally normal for me. I'm always seeing you in your school uniform every single day. What? <laughs> But no, that's me when I was a schoolgirl. Now I'm a lot heavier than I was for one and... Gah, what are you making me say? You're so mean. You made yourself say that, Yui. What are you getting mad at me for? You're not a duck, you know that? But really it really does look quite nice on you, Miss Yui. There's something weird about it at all. Oh, really? For real? Uh-huh. I think it looks really cute on you. Yeah, it does. It's enough to make any fetish just go stone cold crazy. You think? Ooh. Looks a little tight on me, right right here in the Ow! Kishinuma Kuma Damatete! Kishinuma, you shut up! Uh actually Ayumi, how about you shut up? <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty sure Miss Yui is perfectly capable of kicking uh, kicking Yoshiki when he when he deserves it on her own. You don't need to help your teacher. Well, if, all, if you all think it's okay, then I guess I'll do my best to make it work. <laughs> so simple-minded. That's what makes this so funny. Director, why have you done this? Ah! 
歳過ぎの助教師が激しい羞恥心を抑えつつティーネイジャーを演じることにより生じる。キャスト・フィーメル・ティーチャー・ハイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・アズ・アグレッシブ・シャイ・ティーネイジャー・ア
キャストですかん ?From among the cast? <笑>なるほど。ラブシーンの手本を見せて、サチコに学ばせるということですかしかし、このメンバーの中から誰を I see. So we let, two cast mem- so we let two members of the cast act out their own love scene as an example from which Sachiko can learn. I vote Yui and Tsukasa. Well, who should be our demo duo? Hi, hi, Sachiko, ne eraba se te? Oh, oh, let me pick. <laughs> Or. Dare ni shiyo ka na? If it's going to be、uh, Zuza and Ran, this is going to get pretty steamy, I'm sure. Oh, I even get a choice! Hehe. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Kizumi and Yoshiki? Oh, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. What the hell? So, no, Baka, me, die, no, cow. Psycho, ne? I just love that dumbass look on your face. <laughs> Truly an unexpected parry. No kidding, that's why I want to see it. Best of luck to you, Sir Knight. <laughs> If Kizumi's gonna act hammy like he usually does, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Damn it, it's not funny. Yes, it is! Shut up! Stop taking pleasure in other people's misery! No! This is too good! Kizumi, don't you have anything to say about this? I suppose. I don't, really. I'm fine with it. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. He's fine with it! Huh? Huh? You know, I never could quite get a handle on you, but don't tell me. You're. Huh? You know, I don't even think he even cares about sex, to tell you the truth. Just. Murder and taking care of a little sister. He's, he's simple in that respect. So, really, I don't think I'd be worried about, that, about anything like that from him if I were you, Yoshiki. Everything else, though? Well, pick your poison, really. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I simply intend to do as Sachiko has asked of me. She is capable of doing with us whatever she pleases on a mere whim. So it would be best were, it would be best were we not to offend or upset her unnecessarily. No. So, 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 that's. True enough, I guess. Kizami kun no yu tori yo! Kishinuma kun mo waga mama itte ru babae ja nai to mo wa! It is entirely true. Kishinuma, this is no time for you to fight the power. The power will win. As you like to demonstrate on a fairly regular basis with your possessions, right, Ayumi? So n a no s u r a I know you have a point. Yeah, dame! Ora z e t a ni yara nai kara na! And yes, I know you have a point, but still, I just couldn't resist making another jab at you. Gah! Damn it, I don't care! I won't do it! I absolutely will not do it! Hey, what is wrong with you? Why are you being so stubborn? Come on now. Both of you, please calm down. Some, some, someone tells me Kizumi's already getting into character here. I'll get into character too. 
I don't understand you, Kishinuma. Your behavior defies all reason. Are you some sort of savage beast? If not, please try to keep a cool head about this. What the hell are you lecturing me for, you two-faced ass? Um, fighting isn't going to solve anything. <laughs> Every time you're faced with something you dislike, you snap at it like a cornered animal. You're no better than a stray dog. Huh? <laughs> All right, that's it. I ought to beat your face in, you little punk. Number one, he's not little, and number two, he can lift freaking heavy furniture. Unlike you. You're gonna get your ass handed to you if you're not careful. Strong words, but they're belied by your shaking knees. Oh man, the atmosphere in here is getting pretty serious. <laughs> no, it's getting good. <laughs> You're going to regret picking a fight with me. I think you got this backwards, Yoshiki. No fighting! Yuka-chan. Yuka? Here it comes. Cue the inspirational waterworks. We all have to try to get along. If my big brother were here right now, he'd say the same thing. Yuka-chan. Yuka, you're absolutely right. If Mocha were here, he would definitely get between you guys and tell you to knock it off. What do you know? Listen to Yukes. She speaks to Trukes. I like that. That's very good, Yuka. It's nice to see you taking responsibility even when your beloved brother isn't here to support you. Good God. Would you two listen to the Piddler already? She's leaking everywhere and being very noisy. <laughs> okay, alright already. I get it. Just stop crying, please. I'm sorry, Yuka. Look, we aren't fighting anymore. If Satoshi found out that I made Yuka cry, I have no idea what he'd say to me. You suck? My apologies, Kishinuma. I was out of line and said many things I did not mean. Please, forgive me. It's okay. It's okay, pocket knife. I know full well you meant them. And I know you would have won too. As much as I like Yoshiki, as dumb as this idiot can be sometimes. At least he does at least he has doesn't really do anything that's colossally and lethally stupid to everybody else around around him, like someone else I know, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Sh sure. And, um, uh, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm so glad you two were able to make up. This all feels very brotherly to me. Yes, it's great. Now, will you do it? That's... Come on, man. Fine, sure. Let's all have fun making a movie together. <laughs> God damn it! I don't even give a flying fuck anymore! I think we broke him. Oh, come on. We're getting another, blur another blurred, foggy pink image. After I went to the trouble of selecting this one, too. Like, come on! Give me something! Are you certain you're okay with this? Of course I'm not, you idiot! Does this feel romantic to you? <laughs> Just give up, then. If you refuse to do this, you'll be paired with an anatomical model next. Don't bring in anatomical models. I don't need to be feeling the ang genuine anger right now. Kishinomakum, you lose Kishinoma, forgive me. Are those jingle bells I'm hearing? <laughs> What the fuck is he doing to you? <laughs> Stop! You ass! <laughs> <laughs> it's a fox tail! Kishinuma, you look so funny being tickled! More! Do more, Kizumi! Tickle him in his most sensitive areas! As you wish. Stop. Don't be an ass! <laughs> Don't! Don't touch me there! The hell's wrong with you? God! <laughs> You've been a bad boy. Define me at every turn. Now, Kizumi. Right there. Turn it on. If that's what you want. Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, give me strength. You must be feeling really uncomfortable if it's enough to make you... Pray out loud like this, which is really saying something considering your defective brain. What? Since when does a foxtail have a switch on it? God, how I wish there was some CG art right now. Kishinuma-kun! Kishinuma? Which of us was the first to say we loved or hated the other, I wonder? I don't know. I don't know. But if she were right in front of my face right now, I'd punch your lights out. Who, <laughs> <Ew>, Sachiko? <laughs> I feel the same. I can't apologize enough. I never expected I'd be forced to lose so much dignity as a person. As a man! 
feels quite humbling, wouldn't you say? For you, I mean. Because if it were anyone else, I would feel sorry for them. But you accuse me, well... You really do need to be brought down a few pegs. Big time. Well, whatever. It's all in the past. Let's both just try to forget any of this ever happened. <laughs> you both certainly had interesting reactions. <laughs> One could say the bonds between you have been tightened in many ways. Don't twist the knife further. <laughs> that was shameless! The worst! Unfortunately, it's not. I've seen worse in this very game. You don't know what shameless is, Ayumi. Miss Yui Miss and Ayumi were covering Yuka and Satsuki's eyes. Um, Miss Shishido, is it over yet? Yuga seemed fine with it. Appreciative, even. Satsuki? Not so much. Can't say I'm surprised there. Will you get your hands off of me already? Come on, Ayumina! I want to see! Hmm. Young children should definitely see no evil and hear no evil in cases like this. That was really quite the show. I was enthralled. If I had to assign it a title, I'd probably go with School Confinement, The Awakening of Kizumi the Beast. I think it has a nice ring to it. That's true. For a Fulsen film, this was pretty tame. Maybe if it were to use a power drill. Come on, don't make it gruesome. I'll remember this, you assholes. And Sachiko, are you satisfied now? Very. Very much. That was really fun. Now, who should I make it? Who should I make do it next? Oi! Seriously? That was at the end? Well, well that wasn't really a good example of a love scene, now, what was it? Just depends on who you're asking. Besides which, why did you think it would be the end? Are you an idiot? As far as this game is concerned, it sure seems to be the case, but, well... Still not the biggest idiot around. <laughs> you... arrogant... little... Swallow your pride, Kishinuma! If you defy Sachiko now, all your effort will have been for nothing! <laughs> Somebody give this poor bleached haired idiot a hug. God damn it all! Yes, yes, you're mad. Next couple! <laughs> I repeat, somebody give the poor guy a hug. He's getting burned so hard right now. And so, okay, that didn't count. Hilarious? Yes, but... 
come on. At least you could have given me was a CG pick. Miss Yui and Tsukasa, or Uzaza and Ayumi. Well, let's go with Uzaza and, and Ayumi. Wait a minute. Holy shit, I thought it was Azusa and Ran for a while. How the hell did I confuse you two? What? Why me and Azu? And Azu? Girl girl stuff has been really popular lately. That's what it says in here, anyway. More nonsense from the magazine? Was it this time? Sachiko held up an anime magazine with a big, bold cover of the story blurb written in explosive lettering that read, Yuri Licious Anime Overview Inside. Where the hell did you get that from? Probably ran. You realize magazines like that are tailor made for a very niche community, right? So? My, to be perfectly frank, I don't mind at all. What? My wife, dear wife, has declared her intent to commit adultery, so matter-of-factly, my hopes and dreams lie in ruins around me! Again, the melodramatics? This is just acting, you know. And it sounds like a worthwhile scene. Uh, how rude of me, though. Hey, Yumi, would you be uncomfortable performing such a scene with me? Oh, uh, no, not at all. It's just, girl and girl romance doesn't quite feel right to me. So? Really? It's quite commonplace at all girls' schools. There's nothing at all to fear. Okay, so we get CGR. See, we get CGR with the female, with the female only pairing, but not the male and male only one, huh? I call discrimination. See? Even when it's from another girl, being embraced still makes one's heart flutter, no? Poor Ren must be going absolutely bonkers right now. Yes, you're very soft, and you smell nice. Boy. Actually, actually, I bet I bet Yoshiki is probably not enjoying this very much at all either, since well, he's got his eyes on you, Ayumi. So we're probably pissing off two different people right now. Um, the camera isn't even rolling yet, you know. Azu's doing the devil's work here. <laughs> I don't like this. Even if it being girl and girl, I do not like this! Yes, yes, we know you don't like a lot of things that are happening right now. Why? How can it be? My dear wife is squeezing another girl, bathing in her warmth and smell, and yet... I'm so incredibly aroused right now! <laughs> so blunt about it. <laughs> I know. This must be that cuck holding thing I've heard so much about. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 
yeah, I got holding. I don't really get it, person. I don't really. I think it's a really sad thing myself, but, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna kink shame right now. Perhaps it should be brought under control before a new fetish is awoken in the two of them. <laughs> this is so funny. It's too good. Look, I'm telling you, this pairing is no good. You need to pick another couple. Because after all, we can't have your loins being displeased with this particular pairing now, can we, Yoshiki? Those loins of yours are reserved only for one person in this pairing. My, Sir Knight. Such rage. Do I detect a hint of jealousy burning within your soul? As if. Stop flapping your gums and... Well, stop flapping Shinozaki's too. Just get away from her. <laughs> <laughs> there is something to be said. There is something to be said for a man who is overcome with jealousy. Hey, Ayumi. Do you mind being embraced by me? I don't think she minds at all. <laughs> Huh? Uh, oh no. Actually, I think I'd be okay if you help me just a little longer. Sh Shirozaki! Sh Shirozaki! You poor, poor bastard. <laughs> Get her! I can't take much more of this! How much? How much do I have to give you for you to do that to me, too? <laughs> Ren, you are the worst! <laughs> oh no, Satsuki. I don't know, Satsuki. You're a pretty good contender for depravity at times, too. Let's be perfectly fair. <sighs> this farce is not suitable for a film shoot. Perhaps you should consider recasting the scene. Eh? Huh? Ja. Fine. Let's see. Well, looks like Miss Yui and Tsukasa are our number one pick after all. But we can watch their scene play out in the next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and cut things off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Corpse Party's Sweet Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday Bash. I sure as hell did. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care!